Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle Morius and I make art tutorials that are fun, easy, and accessible for everyone. Today we're going to be doing this hyper realistic Oreo packet in color pencil and Ohuhu alcohol markers. I've put down a pretty good sketch of the outline of my Oreo packet and I've gone ahead and I've swatched out all of my color pencils you can see to the right of me and my markers. Um, I'm only using about two different or three different uh, Ohuhu markers and um, I'm using several colors of blues in this um, Oreo packet. I'm using Strathmore 400 Bristol paper so it's a nice smooth finish and with uh, alcohol markers you want to use a paper that can really handle um, the alcohol marker. Markers bleed through if your paper is too light and um, if you use a watercolor paper that has a lot of cotton in it, they bleed out. So you can't control um, the detail of the marker if you're using too um, porous of a paper like a watercolor paper. So uh, Strathmore 400 Bristol is perfect for this and it can take layers and layers of marker and then layers and layers of color pencil on top. Now I've gone ahead before I started my drawing and I sharpened all of my color pencils and I have all my tools ready to go. So this is good to plan ahead and this way you don't have to get up and go back and try to look for some more supplies as you're going through your drawing. Everything is right there and ready to go. So I've laid down the base layer for my dark blue parts with the alcohol marker and now I'm going in with my color pencil and my highlights they're not pure white so I'm going in with kind of a gray blue color um, I'm using Prismacolors in this um, drawing so I'm going in with that gray blue color and I'm just giving a really light coat over those highlight um, areas in the um, end of the wrapper so the most important thing with a hyper-realistic drawing is to have a good reference photo. So for the reference photo, you want something that has high contrast. So really good lighting and some heavy shadows and some really bright highlights. And this will help it look more realistic as you go along. So um, my reference image has really, really nice sharp um, contrast. So I'm going in now with my darker color pencil and I'm just trying to make that transition of color in the blue part where the Oreo is. So another thing you can do to help you um, pick your colors is on your computer you can go into your paint program and you can um, pull out each color so you put your cursor over the color and you can drag out the color and it'll give you um, a good start to what kind of colors that you need to pick out of your set. So now you want to go into all those areas and make your transitions. So where your dark shadows are, it's not always just um, dark and then going into light. There's um, many tones that go along with that. So you have all your full range of values. So you want to make sure that you use your darkest darks, your midtones, and your light tones, as well as your highlight. So I'm going into the Oreo now and we're just going to define some of those little um, bumps and um, things in the Oreo itself. I've kind of gone around all of the wording right now um, and we're going to get back into that part um, with a little bit of tape to um, try to make it straight. So I'm kind of avoiding that area right now as I work on my transitions and then we'll get in there with a jelly roll pen and we'll try to get some nice um, clear wording on the packet. 
Now I'm not using any OMS in this drawing. OMS is odorless mineral spirits, which I use a lot in my color pencil work. Um, and what that does is it kind of melts the colors together. We're not using that in this drawing. In this case, I am using a lighter tone and we're gonna burnish those colors together to get a nice smooth gradient between colors. So once you get those transitions in with your mid-tones and your dark tones and your light tones, then you can go in with, usually I like to use a lighter color pencil and just smush all that together to get a nice smooth um, look and get rid of the graininess of the pencil and the paper. I'm very careful in most of my drawings not to use black. I think black can flatten a drawing out. In this case, I'm going in with a Payne's Gray, and I'm using several um, tones of dark grays and lighter grays to create the um, Oreo cookie effect. So I'm going over with a lighter tone of gray, and then I'm going in with the Payne's Gray as my dark. So all those little bumps and ridges in the um, cookie part, I'm paying attention where my light is. So where the light is creating a shadow, where those bumps are, I'm trying to keep those um, kind of light um, to give the effect of uh, three dimensions. The color pencil goes over the alcohol marker just beautifully. Um, because the marker doesn't damage the tooth of the paper, you can really put a lot of color pencil on top of it. Um, and color pencil works best when done in really light layers. So I've gone over this very lightly and done many, many, many layers on top of each other to get this rich effect that you see going on here. I'm putting in some shadows and we're gonna pop a little bit of highlight with a jelly roll pen as we get closer to the end. So the color pencil makes a lot of dust sometimes because you're layering on top of layers and especially with the Prismacolor pencils, they're very waxy. So sometimes it leaves a little dust on the paper. So I just go in periodically with a nice kneaded eraser and I get rid of all that dust so that you're not dragging it around um, your drawing and ruining um, the background. I'm going now in with a jelly roll pen and I'm working on my lettering. So I put down some tape as a guideline so I get a nice straight um, line of letters. You wanna have really nice sharp color pencils, especially for this lettering, because you need to get into really tight spaces. So you really want a nice sharp, sharp color pencil. And I usually keep my pencils sharp through the whole duration of the drawing. And this way I'm not tempted to press too hard and ruin the tooth of the paper so that I can't put any more color on top of color. So the beauty of color pencil is in the layering and you wanna layer several colors on top of each other to get a really rich effect. I'm now going in with the Jelly Roll pen, popping a few highlights, and then I'm gonna go over and glaze over some of those bright white um, Jelly Roll highlights that I put down with some more color pencil just to soften them up and make a smoother transition. So I'm gonna put a shadow in with some graphite. Um, I have graphite on a small little paintbrush and I'm going in and I'm adding that shadow in which is really gonna add to the drama of this piece. It really starts to pop off the page when you add that dark shadow in. I, the reason why I like to use graphite and not the color pencil is that you can really control it and get a nice really soft um, shadow and then you can clean it up with a kneaded eraser. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and happy art.